This is Bamda Studio and we're joined by Mr. Murtaza Zaidi, who is the CEO of CyberVision and the Volunteer Executive Director of Thai Islamabad. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Tania. Murtaza, first tell me, you're doing a lot of work. You're doing work as a Volunteer Executive Director, you're also the CEO of a company. Can you tell us a little bit about what most excites you about which job? What would you like to talk about well, first? Uh, if, if you're talking about the background, I started my business when I was in my university, in the bachelor's, right? So I started in third semester. So after, and, and how did that happen? Well, uh, the truth is that I was really broke. And uh, back then in 2001, 2002, cell phones came in the market, right? Then the U-Phone launched in Pakistan as a cellular company. So they were actually giving out free SIMs, right? So I was, I was the first one in that line, and I took that free SIM. But then I realized I needed a cell phone, right? That was the moment where it actually hit me that, hey, you know, this is this. I didn't like being broke. So then I started running a magazine. It was an IT magazine by the name of CyberVision. When I gra graduated in 2004, I just, you know, started my own company and labeled it as, as CyberVision, which was, which was the magazine name. But then I converted it into an IT company. So we provide IT solutions. Do you solutions. have an IT background? Yeah, I'm a software engineer. Yeah, so I have an IT company now, and my salt is right there in front as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, what does CyberVision? I mean, just the name CyberVision. You must have a vision. What is it? Yeah. Well, when we look at Pakistan, you know, there's a lot of automation is required. You know, for next ten years, government is going towards automation. We need automation now. We need databases. We need management information systems. So the vision is that we are automating. We we are experienced in automating, developing databases, and we are doing that work for a lot of government and local clientele. In my personal, uh, you know, opinion, there are a lot of other people. A lot of people who know a lot more than me. They have other things. A lot of people say you need to have a business plan. I think you need to have motivation. If you're motivated and if you're not turning back then nothing can stop you. Business plans or no business plans. If you're focused at whatever you're doing and if you're doing it right and in a better manner than others, then you will succeed, right? So yes, I didn't have a business plan. I didn't know what, how I have to fill text forms. I didn't know a lot of other things. I didn't know how to register a company, but then it just, just went on. It's part of the process. Yeah, it's part of the process. I learned through the process. And now I, get, I have, uh, you know, I think I have an edge when it comes to experience with other entrepreneurs and with other professionals because I started so early that now I have like much more experience than the other people when it comes to the age. So, yeah, so I mean, um, along with like that, um, you know, that, that feeling of like that ambition, that goal in your mind that I want to make this, getting money out of people and collecting investment is also an issue and how, what would you advise young entrepreneurs? How did well, you Well, the thing is that it? the best part of, uh, of my story is that we never took capital from anyone. Right? We started with a zero rupees investment, got the projects, got the funding from the clients and then advance money, etc., etc., and then we just took off from there. So uh, an advice to youth is that don't always you know, have this mental block in your mind that we don't have money, we cannot do this. That is not true. Because you know, if you're, you have an idea, money will come. Money will definitely come. What's the potential for growth for CyberVision in the com in the coming few years in in terms of the regional environment? Because if you see, we're all very interconnected with the Arab world and the and our other trading partners, etc. How do you see CyberVision yeah. fitting into well, that? Well, uh, right now the, the the mission is and the goal is to capture the entire Pakistani market. There's a lot of a lot of a lot of potential in Pakistan. A lot of potential in Pakistan. Population is growing by you know numbers Some and. Say well, that's a good thing for for someone who automates processes. Because if the numbers are increases, you need to have databases. You need to have management information system. So our aim in the in the coming years will be to become the largest and the best IT solutions provider in Pakistan, right? So that's the aim. And then yes, then of course we need to go global, right? But the first aim is uh, to become the best in Pakistan. The current economic climate isn't, as we all know, for the last couple of years, isn't the best. But uh, young entrepreneurs, we hear them saying, where there's demand, you know, I mean, we, there's no falling back. What do you, what, what would you say? How Sorry to cut you over here, Tanya. You know, where there's a will, there's a way. People say this, recession, bad timing, etc., etc., etc. When recession was, you know, it did affect us. But my one message to my team was, go for each and everything out there. You know, that was through the business development team, right? And when people were firing, we were hiring, and we are still hiring, right? So I don't take that as an excuse, no. And I don't, I don't see that as, as any sort of threat or any sort of reason that you cannot excel in whatever you are doing. Companies are flourishing in Pakistan. 
So uh, I don't agree with that. You know, you need to be very positive, you need to be very optimistic, and you need to be very focused, but you need to be very sensible as well. So Murtaza, just quickly, very briefly, like how do you feel about the upcoming uh, couple of years? I mean, in terms of your cyber vision and your um, association Thai? with Thai? Yeah, cyber vision, well, uh, we will be the largest IT we company. We will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we will, but we are not now. It's yeah, resolved, no, yeah. I'm saying yeah. you look into the future and you of course, that's the aim. That's the aim. That's the objective. That's the aim, and uh, we are we are pretty passionate about our aims, right? So about cybervision, it will definitely grow. The times are right, and uh, we are living in a in an era in which nothing is impossible. Seriously, about Thai Islamabad, <coughs> we are trying to bring an entrepreneurial revolution, and you know, today the Taikon, it is actually the beginning of a revolution actually you know we have so many people in a people used to call samba the dead city but you know we we have seen that you know more than 1200 people are right now over here at this point in time we are being bit negative by calling it bounce back because that means that we are accepting but yes we need to accept we need to accept that we are in a bad shape right now and we we have to bounce back and th that is why there's so many success stories there are many good success stories coming here today and explaining about what they did and how they have achieved mentoring. things. Yeah, mentoring is one part of that. Mentoring is basically the concept, you know, which Tai Samad also provide mentoring that the people who are experienced, the people who have done this, they need to give back by, you know, supporting them, by giving them advices, by the, showing them the right path, by building networks for them, and then by, you know, searching for such, uh, funding opportunities for and them. And I have so. to say, Murtaza, you are definitely one of them who's trying to give back. And yes, yeah, definitely. Thanks definitely. for talking to us. Thank, Thank you, Tania. So Thank you so much.